man. A long time coming, but it's time for the end game. Chosen by fate. And the Dollar Keep. The long war had been fought. Arcania's many lands freed. And now the League had cornered their arch enemy within his castle. Yes, time to face the Dragon Medius. Killed a summoner. Now let's kill the Shadow Dragon. <laughs> Title drop. They broke into four groups and stormed the four gates of Dolor Keep. Unaware that this was exactly what Medius was expecting. Hope he doesn't have, like, foresight or anything. Or clairvoyance. That would suck. Granted, I'm not sure how they'd make that a game feature. Bravely, these warriors' fate had chosen... S oh no, these warriors that fate had chosen steeled themselves for, for one last struggle. Alright, here we go. Though, before we continue, I want to ask you all a question. And I'll probably put a poll in, like, the top right corner or something, but... Would you prefer as we move into the next game, the that we keep doing it one video per chapter, even though they end up being two plus hours long, or would you prefer me to um, break each chapter up into more bite-sized pieces of like, I don't know, 30 minutes or an hour? Um, yeah, let me know either if I put a poll up there or in the comments below. Anyways. Let's go ahead and view the map. And we will be playing Fire Emblem 12 next. I'm excited, you guys have hyped it up for me. Oh shit, Mage Stones, of course. Silver Sword. Lots of brave weapons, of course. Got the Pachyderm, off to kill him. Mmm, swarm, huh? Oh, damn, a dragon pike. Watch out, Tiki. Oh, that's what we did. We, uh... You know what? That's actually not necessarily a good thing for me. In fact, that could prove, uh, dangerous. Okay, love and sword. I'll have to really consider that when I choose where everyone it goes. And... There's Medius. Earthstone. 20 might. Damn. Stone that you uh, stone used to transform into an earth dragon. And of course he's level 20. He's gonna hit hard. And it's oh shit, it's also ranged. I don't think mine are ranged. Yeah, none of the others are. Well, it makes sense. They're not gonna... Since he's stuck in spot, they're not gonna... You know, not let him attack back. He's also got infinite uses, and he's super fast. He's gonna be tough. This is gonna be a difficult chapter, I can already tell. Okay. Is that a... It's a vendor, the last vendor of the game. Okay, we have 15 units. Any that I don't have here that I would like to use? No, none of these guys. Sorry, Jagan. Um, no Caesar, no George. Navarre. I do love his... Just He looks such a, such a kindly old man. This isn't his eyes, I think. Make him look so harmless. And he's got a great mustache. Um, no, Samson. Sorry, Midia. Too weak to handle this. Hmm, the only one who would m maybe be really, really useful is Zane. Bantu isn't strong enough, not even close. Yeah, no, this will probably be fine. The ones I have here. I 
Alright, let's uh, take care of the inventory. I'll be giving everybody the best weapons I can for the final chapter. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, I think I have this settled. Marth, of course, with Falchion. Ogmista with uh, Leviathan, as well as I gave him Mercurius, because he's really the only one besides Marth who could use it anyways. And Marth has Falchion. Um, I've divvied up the uh, staves to all my um, mages as evenly as possible. I'll probably send one in each group. Um, Wolf, of course, gets Parthia. And I've also given everybody a uh, Worm Slayer of some kind that I could. Um, Katria, Dragon Pike, Poleaxe, Silver, Lance, all that. Um, Sandy with Paula. S is the one I ended up giving the gra Gratifus to. Since, um, she's also one, both one of the strongest, but also because she didn't get the chance to get axes. So, she almost got there, but not quite. Tiki, of course, I'll give the Firestone in case. Really, for no good reason other than I want to. Um... And that's pretty much all the highlights, I think. Yeah. That is all the highlights. So with that in mind, there's one last thing we can do. I have 30,000 gold. I have two choices here. I could leave it be. You know. Since I could, um... I think that would increase my score. Or I could use them all to forge the best weapon I possibly could for one of my characters. Like Katria, for example. I could forge the Poleaxe or the Dragon Pike. Ooh. The Dragon Weapon in particular would be really nice. The Silver Lance would also be really nice. How much could we do? Max is 10, but um, we can make that a plus and a 19. Let's do 18. That is tempting. Of course, we can't do Gradivus or anything like that. <laughs> yep, nope. That would give her something almost as strong as it, though. Which is also tempting. What about a, um... A javelin? How strong could we get that? Twenty-one thousand, but this one's also ranged. And then the 90. I like that a lot. Alright. We're gonna use a, um... Hmm. Alright. We are going with the Spear of Odin himself. Gungnir. That should be fun. That's fitting for such a powerful weapon, I think. Confirm. And that's it. Down to 5,700 gold. Um. See, we. Next up is. Map again. Let's decide who's gonna be where and what group. So we have one. Here. They'll need to take out the swarm ASAP. Um. Yeah. And then that person will be a problem. Uh, I need to get someone who can uh, get in range of. Actually, it looks like he won't be in range quite soon, so. He should be fine. Wait, no. All of these guys. Looks like I'll need to, um, have my Ballastician in this group here. Or this group, but this group would be better over here. 
and factor that in mind. Let's put them right there. Lena, yeah, you could stay in this one. That'd be fine. That way, you can also use your hammer and on back if he's about to run out of um, pachyderms. Be nice. And then as for you, Ogma. We'll see, actually. I need to. Yeah, I need to get some uh, better words than just two mages over here. That's good. Looks like none of them have a um worm slayer, so Tiki's fine over here. Could send Wolf as well. See, I believe I saw an issue with flyers. Wait, no, it was just um him and it. That's the pachyderm, not the aerospate. Looks like my flyers are actually safe. That's good. In fact, that means we really don't have a problem with uh, just having this beautiful trio of sisters here. That means they could also triangle attack if I need to. But I do need to put a, um, a mage up there. Let's have... Since Thorano is over, is over here, let's have, let's keep Maria right here. All in all, though, I think that's a good mix. Then I want to see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure I could kill the swarm right away. Um, I think that's everything. Final save. And fight. We made it. Now we just had to find Medius. Yep, he's right in the center. Oh, hey. Maladus. Sire. Lord Goto is here to see you. Oh. Hello, Goto. Marth, you have fought splendidly. Lord Goto? What are you doing here? Did he always close his eyes? I washed my hands of humankind and their foolish ways long ago. But you and your companions have convinced me that was a rash decision. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Oh, I would hope so. Being human and all. Allow me to offer what help I can. Ooh, what can you do? Are you gonna fight with me? You mean you'll fight with us? Yes. I may lack the power to stop Medius, but his minions are another story. Let this old man strike them down and clear a path for you. Damn. This reminds me of, um, shoot, I am forgetting his name, but the, uh, ancient mage in, uh, Blazing Sword who comes to fight with you in the end. Damn it, he gives you the special weapons, too. The gods have chosen you, Marth, the Prince of Light. Come, my friends. We have a dragon to tame. Hell yeah. How to train your dragon. The lethal version. Help me confine Medius to the shadows for all eternity and bring light back into the world. Oh shit, what's he doing? Oh, he's permanently transforming. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn it. 
You know, I'm surprised. I don't think we've actually seen... I think this is the first time in-game we've seen Medius, unless I'm forgetting something. But yeah. Hmm, first move will be... Well, first things first, let's keep a track of um, these assholes. Okay. Now, okay, he's a mage stone, that's right. I need to be very careful of them. In fact, I think I might barrier someone. So they can block that path. Maybe they can't. Damn it. Well, regardless. Kill him with Harden, potentially. Unfortunately, I can't quite reach him with my Dragon Pike. However, Sita can. Wait, no, he's a um, wyvern, not the right kind of dragon. Shoot. Still. I think... Perhaps. Let's see how much damage can Swarm do? 24. Okay. It might be worth it to try and lure them in for a turn. That way. I won't have to, um, put myself in danger of the Mage Stone. Yeah. But let's ignore that for a second. Um. Paula. What can you do with the, uh, Dragon Pike? Damn, not good enough. Not even close. a little better. Not good enough, though. How about you, Est? Two choices here. Kratavus? Damn, that's good. What about with the Rider's Bane? Whoops, not Rider's Bane, I meant Dragon Pike. 32. Seven, that would not be enough. But if I followed it with uh, this Dragon Pike, definitely still not enough. What about if I use a Hand Axe first? Only if you hit. Lynn's probably going to be healing this turn with the... Uh... Actually, no, she can't. What about over here? Oh, this is a wall. Silly me. Tiki should be fine. But, just to be on the safe side, before I do that, because she also has a fortify. I can see this is a, a tricky map. 
At least this is straightforward enough. Of a choice. Thunderbolt him. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. Um, Could send you guys this way, but... I think it would be safer. Or better. Rather. To send you over here. Wait, no, I don't have the, um... Oh, Goto, how strong are you? A, A, oh, and he has a fortify a recover as well. And he has a swarm. Go ahead and attack him, Goto. Man, I didn't ever think I'd get that. Beautiful. I'm so happy they gave me more uh, long range weaponry. Okay. Marth, can you open this door? Yes, actually, I probably have a key. Then I'll just have to deal with him. But you have good defense. They're actually not as good as Wolf. there. Convoy. Retrieve. Uh, yeah, just a master key. And not this turn. Use a key. Yeah, keep your Parthia equipped for him. He'll probably come at you. That Thoron will be a troublesome... So yeah, let's um give you the barrier, Tiki, just in case. Cause I doubt it's um your resistance is high enough to uh, warrant not being cautious there. Okay, that just leaves two groups. I have my fortify too if I need it. like to kill the swarm if possible if I can do it without being in range of either of them that would be okay Let's see he has 34 so he'll do 64 damage to someone minus defense of course and then another 35 all right I got my handy dandy calculator ready just since I don't feel like doing this in my Head as usual, because I don't want to be off by a point that causes anyone to die. Um, Alright, that's three attacks for a total of 99. So, obviously, Drog, right? You have the best chance of surviving. Yes, you could survive all three attacks, assuming you don't take a swarm. And Sita, I'm not so positive. Yeah, Sita definitely cannot take three attacks. And if Sita can't, Harden absolutely can't. So Drog is the only one who's actually safe. That's only if he can actually kill, and he can. That's actually perfect. Did I say three attacks? Yeah, three attacks, because he has a Brave Lance. Um, This will work, yeah. And do you need the Javelin out? No. Silver Lance is perfectly fine. Beautiful. This is why I love you, Drog. You have beautiful defense. Okay. Now. I think 
both of you are capable of surviving one or the other. So we have 68 there. Minus her 30. For a total of um, 38, you could survive. You'd have 44. Harden cannot survive. Then whatever I do, I'd have to make sure Sita does not kill whoever it is. So instead, we're gonna. Yeah. Wait. I don't. I'm, I didn't actually check with Iglos. Okay, no. Not really an option here. And, um, since Harden can't survive this general here, I can't actually take him out this turn, so yeah. Um, we'll go for this plan. Sita, um, keep your silver, silver lance out, Harden, and Alencia, hold on. Alright, over here we have that Pachyderm I think we'll just have to deal with. I'm not too worried about his Eleven Sword, he only has the one magic, right? Yeah, 18 damage. Let's keep track of all of you for safety. So actually, I probably could take him out. The only one I need to de double check is Paula. Who he even if he crits will not kill. Good, that is good. However, that's only 13 damage. I would not be able to um finish him this turn. That's a real problem. Not to mention, um, that douche nozzle over here. This might be one of those situations where it'd be better to, um, hold back a turn. Yeah, this is one of those situations. Est, Gradivus, uh, fantastic. Uh, stay back, Paula. And honestly, stay back with Katria as well. Alright, who's left? No one? Oh, no. Um, Katria is still. There we go. Now who's left? Elise. Um, you just move up. And Lena. For whatever reason, my uh, control scheme is prepared to both change and my... Wait, what? Fuck. That was too strong. Back to the old drawing board, I guess. I really expected her to be able to take at least one. I didn't even bother checking. So this is also the final chapter, so maybe I should just roll with it. Until victory is impossible. It'd be kind of fun for a change.
and wolf. <laughs> I like that. Actually, that'll probably get annoying very fast, but still. The sound effect in particular. Okay. Oh shit, you know what that means though? That means Maria and Minerva died. Which means that and the brother. That, that bloodline is literally ended in this playthrough. That is a depressing thought. Let's go for it. Um, let's see. Let's ignore you for a second. Those green lines are back. Um... Yeah, Paula, since you're weak, relatively, let's have you just be the one to, um, kill him. Since I don't want you fighting anyone else. Oh, fantastic level. Take care of that in a second. Um... Damn. I do wish I was... I had someone in range. Twenty-four, huh? Plus another twenty-one. be, um, actually she has 19 defense, or 21 defense, though. Yeah, Est can definitely not survive an attack from both of them, um, which means no one else here probably can either. Yeah, not even Katria. Though maybe with her 42 HP, but I don't think so. Needless to say, though, I did not keep track. Oh, fuck, that is so much damage. 42 from a range. Um, I didn't keep track and I should have. Looks like you can't get in range of the other. Instead, just um, finish this piece of shit off. I don't know if you're the one who actually killed Maria, but fuck you anyways. I need to warp someone to help take care of this. I think you have the warp? Yeah. Okay. Aceto would be an obvious choice for that. Their 44 HP in her defense. Actually, he's the better defense in HP, though. So perhaps that would be the better choice. Well, regardless, I need to take uh, him out and yeah, it doesn't look like that's an option. For um for Draga it is, so I probably will have to send a uh, Sita or Harden instead. No reason to waste Parthia if I don't need it. Though I could also just send um Marth through here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just open the door. I 
Oh, Gluto is actually not level um, 20. That is surprising to me. All right, then. Goto. Damn. You do have good stats, though. Well, good-ish. Nice defense. Yeah, finish him. I need to keep track of these guys. Um, Tiki, do you wanna? Ugh, Maria. I'm so sorry. 41 exactly. Well, that's convenient. I don't suppose. Um, nope. Definitely not. He's out for blood. Reven Avenger. Fallen Comrade Tiki, thank you. Oh, Worm Slayer. Um, yeah. We need you to sit right here. 38. 46. And of course, you're in range as well. Fuck. I need to take him out. I need to take him out yesterday. Um, you're not in range, god damn it. Yes. Forty or fifty-two. Wait. Damn it, not quite enough. Still let's warp um Sita. Over here. Good, good. Wait, doesn't that also mean I lost one of my fortifies? Well, I still have you at least. Three damage. You know what? I will take it. Because I'd rather you get damaged than uh, uh, draw get further damaged. Perfect. Because he's going to get fortified. By you know who, by Lena. Alright, Sita, what can you do against him? If anything, not enough. Twenty six. That's not bad. If I can heal. If I can take him out. Um, how much damage can he do to you? Incidentally, 30. Yikes. Fuck! Fuck, what did I just do? God damn it. That was an accident. Yeah, that was, that's no, that's no good. Yeah, um, we'll go back. I did not mean to click that. Oh, fuck, my finger sometimes. I used to do that all the time in Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, too. It's been a while, I think, where I click too fast. My itchy trigger finger. It's not the time for it. But at least.
least we can refine our strategy. Alright, giving you highlights of things I'm changing this time. Um, positioning of Lind and Est, as well as replacing Wolf and uh, Ogma, because someone needs to kill him immediately. Otherwise, Maria is fucked. She can get over here, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. Alright, step one for surviving this chapter. First turn, I've already warped over Sita. We're gonna take him out. Sita can survive an attack from both him and him this turn. So she will launch it off with Iglos, of course, hoping to crit. If she doesn't crit, um, that's fine too. Uh, he'll be weakened enough to take him out with Est. Fantastic. Even better. I love you. I love you, uh, Sita. Okay. With him taken out as our first, uh, wind condition down. So, we have next up is Wolf. He's not quite able to take him out with Parthia. Um, so, and also, an attack from this bishop plus him would kill him. However, now that this guy is taken out, I can freely use barrier on Wolf, which should give him just enough HP to survive. I mean, defense slash HP, because now... He only does, um, is it 27? As well as his, um, or sorry, 27 minus his, uh, yeah, 27. And plus his, uh, 37, uh, minus, uh, 19, so 27, 17, 18. Right, giving us a total of 45, which he can survive. Which is fantastic. So, with that in mind, so as to not waste, well, mostly just because it's fitting, um, we'll have Thunderbolt. Fantastic. Now, Kill this piece of shit. Goodbye, Ballistae. Alright. And with that... Everyone here... Is... Safe. Okay. Um... Moving on. Alright, and now we are moving into the final stage of this turn. We will kill him with Est. Because, well, unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to deal enough damage to him. Even though he was the prior he's the priority target, but it's fine because all three of them are more than capable of surviving. And then, to ensure Katria here doesn't die to uh, this jerk. We have ourselves a beautiful fortify. A bit of a waste, but it's the final chapter, so screw it. going after Sita. Nice! Nice crit, Sita. That's why I love you. Everything 
is going according to plan. And it is beautiful. I still can't believe on that first um, turn I didn't check how much damage the um, the damnable uh, ballista I could do. That was such a stupid mistake. Ooh, you know, that's something I didn't check. But luckily it didn't uh, screw me over. The uh, Worm Slayer there. I should have checked that. Tiki almost died there and that would have been unacceptable. Beautiful. That one with a little bit of luck right there at that very end. Everything worked out fantastically. Alright, chapter two. Um let's ignore you and you. Wait. Oh, Tiki did uh, manage to kill him. Good. She got her revenge. Let's go ahead and have you recover, Tiki. <laughs> And that is a maximum use recover. More speed. Too bad it's not nearly enough to make any difference at all. Wow, you could not kill him. Very tempting, except that 5% crit is unacceptable. Let's try... Let's see, Hoist Flame 100%, what about Pachyderm? 90%. On the other hand, though, that does more damage, and I need more damage. Because his crit chance is annoying. There we go. Of course, you could also potentially help out here. 44. If I healed him first, that'd be okay. And out of Carol City Wolf. Holy sh... Nikes, that's great. That's better, though. For you, at least. Yeah. Wolf with your Parthia. So you could also attack him, potentially. Which would get you... 40, 56! Perfect! Alright, Feral, first things first, uh, Paula. I don't suppose, um... Yeah, unfortunately that, um... 73% isn't nearly good enough, so you'll just have to stick with a simple hand axe and hopefully hit. Oh, good job. That should hopefully make it so I don't have to waste two of my other better characters. The only question is which one will I end up using here? Katria, probably. Or... Yep, Katria, it looks like. Great job, Katria. As always. Okay. Still not max strength, huh? See, 34 damage. Not enough. Um, could attack from range, though. And then finish off with the Iglos. 22. So 22 plus the um, 34. That would be 56. Oh, even better. 
and S gets a level. More defense. I always like to see that. And resistance. Also great. Okay. 30 damage. That's another thing I enjoy seeing. Ooh, I have a physic. I'm gonna wait to move you, Lind. Is there, um. Okay, so he's not in range. Luckily, and this is not one of the games. Oh shit, another crit. God damn, I love you, Sita. This is the one chapter where I want to see as many crits as possible. Um. Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say, though. Oh well. That opens me up here. Parthia. Perfect. Oh. Looks like Tiki. You don't need to take him out after all. Let's keep it on you guys, though. Overkill. Better. Granted, that also reduces her defense, but, um, she should be fine, since I'm gonna kill this other guy. I do need to keep track of you, though. Leviathan, sure. Good shot. Goto. Thoron, sure. Another great shot. Last but not least, Marth. Finish him. That's right, he has no more experience to gain, unfortunately. Um. Okay. Ignoring you for a second, uh, Drog. Nineteen, huh? That is not enough. Twenty-two, huh? Still not enough. Even with that six, it wouldn't be enough, would it? See, that'd take him to forty-one. Assuming you healed from a fortify or something. So that'd be, uh, 6, 28 total. Plus, what was it, 19? So, 38. 47? Ooh, that's exactly enough. Well, let's see if it works. I will need to heal him first, though. Perhaps a physic will uh, come in handy there. All right, twenty four, you can survive. Fantastic. No problem. Drog. Exactly right. Take him out. That's what I love to see. Um, I think we only have Lena left. And she will fortify, of course. Because why not? And because I'd kind of need it. Damn. 
they're coming. Wait. Did... Oh, shit. That's... Potentially bad. It's potentially very bad. Did this door close on me? Yeah, it did. Well... That 4% crit is no good at all. I could warp you in, but, um... Yeah. I'm not sure what good that would do. You're not going to be taking him out next turn, or this turn. who I can hurt with the Pachyderm this turn. We also need to be careful of them. Out of curiosity. Damn. 34. And they're both the same strength? Yes, they are. Let's see, uh... Mercurius... 42. Shit. Oh, I could heal him, though. <laughs> that one's funny. But that would be enough to take him out. Eh, 60. See, I like the 100% better. Yeah, I just need to heal. Ooh, but no, if he takes... One of them gets taken out. The other will butcher the person who survives. Um, could I perhaps swarm him first and then take him out immediately? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Well, actually, with the pachyderm, that might become a reality. Let's see if it hits. That'll be the determining factor. Fantastic. That plus the swarm. Ooh, even better than I could have hoped. Oh, and obviously, we'll be able to check everybody at all times. We don't need these two. Mercurius. It's too bad it doesn't have a special design sprite work for Mercurius. It would have been nice. Now I could take him out with my action. No, I couldn't. I still need to heal Ogma, I need to remember. And Tiki. 32. Not enough. What about with the Hand X? That would put you at 35, 45. Still not quite enough. What about with you, Est? That would do it. Alright, Tiki. Kill him. Still haven't forgotten what they did to uh, Maria that one life. I'm happy she survived. I think I promised, um... Minerva I wouldn't let her die, after all. And it would be really bad to see the entire family line die out. Holy shit. Um... Go for it. Let's 
second to last level. And as beautiful as always. Actually, not quite as beautiful as always. <laughs> it's a shame I'm not going to be able to see. It looks like I definitely won't see his um, caps. It must be pretty damn good. The wolf is an amazing, amazing character. I could see what people meant by... um. Not to underestimate just how good of... Just, he starts off super, super weak, but his growths are so good that he becomes one of my best characters in the end. Are you ready to finally start contributing, Lind? You can be the one to fortify. Which means I think I'm pretty much set. Oh. Actually, I should block this off. There we go. Just uh, you three left, huh? You can't do anything over here, Harden. So... Sita, sit right there. Lena, right there. Mm, good, going after Agma. That's kind of what I was hoping for. <sighs> Only two moved, huh? Let's go. I still want to see um, him at 20. And Tiki can never be a high enough level because she is just a precious gem who must be protected. How do we protect? By making her so powerful that no one could ever hope to hurt her. Hmm. Let's move you back one, you forward one. Let's go ahead and hit this one. This wyvern, this uh, dragon mage. Excellent. Lena, you want to recover? You need to move forward one, Marth. Good. And we might as well swarm. As well. Ooh, never mind. That's right, they're immune to magic. Forgot about that. Or their resistances are just incredibly high. With the mage, so I think it's just a really, really high resistance. over here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank you. That is a dick move. Having reinforcement ballistae. Oh god. Note to self. Put people on these stairs. I didn't even realize there were stairs there. I didn't. Oh, my eyes didn't catch that. Well, first things first. Um. Aura? Nope. Nope. So be it. 31, 26. Let's just go for the uh, 26 here.
you know, it's completely unacceptable. I need to, I need to find where all the other stairs are. Put someone on them immediately. That's a wall. Actually, that looks like sides in here. Yeah, these two as well. Those ones aren't exactly things I can protect against at the moment. Um, Paula, since you're the weakest, I'll put you over there. Est, I'm gonna give this kill to you. Or not. Wait, 26. Yeah, that'd be 52. Alright, Sita. Hit him with eye close first. I don't know where he uses it. I have seven. Yeah, we'll use it up. And now West. Watch a door here. Shut. Next turn. Walking my best characters in here. God, that would suck. Maria, you survived by the skin of your teeth. I'm gonna do this. I need to make sure I can actually kill him. Even if you don't succeed, Drog. I think I can do it. Definitely can do it. Fantastic. Let's do it. Didn't even get a crit. Very nice. don't want to do it with uh, Marth just because he doesn't get the experience. It looks like I have mm, not much choice in the matter. Unless, of course, um, I don't know, say, uh, Sray Bolt here were to accidentally, uh, Actually, that would only get him down to 35. How much do you need? Yeah, you need to get him way further than that. Still not even close to enough. I suppose I could always, um... Something besides the falchion out. Like a silver sword or something. Some store that pure water while we're at, while we are at it. That's also an option. 23. I don't think the 14 would be quite enough. Good job, Marth. Alright, Mercurius. Nice. Still no idea how I'm going to take out the... Um, I'm gonna take on Medius. He looks insanely powerful. Okay. Yeah, I should, uh, there's probably gonna be reinforcements from up here as well. 
So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. good as well, Tiki. Maria, actually, you're gonna hang back just because it's too dangerous. Do I need more Fortify? We could use more Fortify. Lena, you're gonna hang back as well just because, once again, Bit dangerous out there. Oh, I could save now too. It's a good idea. All right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That could have been bad. Once again, I did not see that staircase. Are they just appearing out of nowhere? Is that it? Like the floor is opening up? Or am I really that blind? Well, either way... Someone there. We'll go. Ooh, yeah, the killer bow. Beautiful. Um, I'm not sure who's gonna sit on this spot here. Probably Lena, since she just needs to fortify over and over. about an eye for you guys. And of course, this door locks. God damn it. Look, everyone, I, I, what did I say? Everyone trapped. I need keys, damn it. Store the, um... Silver sword for a second, just retrieve a master key. Just in case people get trapped, go to why don't you um help take out this guy? Or just weaken him rather. Wait, arrow bolt. Um, you could take him out potentially, or arrow spate, I should say. Shit, not quite. Super close though. You'll wait till next turn, I guess. In the meantime. Let's take out the healers. And actually, I'm gonna... I don't know if I can get to that safe point. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need to um, bring you guys back to help reinforce. Otherwise, I'm losing back. Were you a... Uh... Mage, shoot. Neither of you are going to be useful there. I'll bring you guys back to reinforce as well. 
except for you, Maria, because... You know. Damn ballista popping out of nowhere. Super shocked. Um, let's open that door. And I'm gonna heal you, Harden. Actually, I might leave Elise. Eh. No, I probably won't actually. Harden. I'm actually going to have you be the one who sticks, sits here. Sorry, but you're just out of the other characters, um, the least durable. What is in range? Oh, them. Three, let's go. Nice shot. Okay, we're mostly safe here. Um, and it's just a brave sword, anyways. I could take him out the swarm. Closer. There we go. Excellent. Now, as for you, obviously, this is a choice. Ooh, holy shit, fifty eight. That is beautiful. What would happen, though? to come face to face with you. Honestly, probably not all that much. With the 19 defense and all, you'd get 64 and so 44 plus 2 you'd get 46 and yeah, you'd survive just fine. Take him out now. Beautiful. Um, Tiki, once again, actually, I was gonna have you lend assistance over here, but looks like you're needed on this side first until I can warp someone over it with the key. Lind, when did you get all the way? Oh. For some reason, I thought she was on this side. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Unfortunately, he won't be attacking back, but that's fine. Okay. Not sure who I'm gonna teleport over here yet. I suppose Marth would be a good choice. At least you want to teleport Marth? Good job. And Marth, open that door, thank you. 
Honestly, I think, uh... Out of these two... Yeah, Cadre would be the better one to take with me rather than Sita, unfortunately. Um, so I'll leave Sita on the staircase. 24. I don't think Tekken can quite reach yet. Um... Let's keep track of you with your mage stone. Thirty-five. Ooh, that would do it. Maybe, I don't think Starlight will be effective against him. But if it is, I should probably save it. Oh, and there's also um these guys over here, Lind, can you, um, 35, 40, not quite enough. Sixteen would do it. Honestly, the, uh, no, nope. definitely the sixteen. If you hit. It's a big if sometimes. Good. You know, the Pachyderm animation looks almost exactly like the stone hoist animation from, uh, other games. Or was that in this one as well? Actually, yeah, no, I think that one was in this one. Thirty-five and forty. She already level 22? Yes, she is. Not enough damage, huh? What about the Worm Slayer? 25, I do not like that 3% crit. I do like this, though. Risk-free Swarm. Risks missing. See, I think I'm gonna have you preemptively fortify. And with that in mind. Attack you with the Parthia, that would kill you. Uh, 48 wouldn't quite kill you, but close enough. Uh, Katria. Kinda need your help down here, but. Yeah, that's better. Oh shit. Oh, way to go, Katria. I was gonna give that to Tiki, but that's fine. to take your spot. Good. Let's move you here. Who's left? You three? All right, then. Mm, big shock. More reinforcements. Quite in range. And there's Tiki, though. Quite frankly, I don't want to risk her getting hurt. She'll, she'll attack this one instead. 60 damage. <laughs> Perfect. Tiki, really? I say it all the time. She is just precious. Yeah, 
and amazing. Amazingly strong. Um... Keep an eye on you guys. It screwed you as well. Hmm. Worm Slayer, one percent crit. Hell no. But we will try to kill our bow, though. We can him every bit we can. Damn. And next up is Leviathan. Fantastic. And Lind. 37, not quite enough. 32, better. Um, I'll go with the Thor on here. Get uh, Wolf the kill. Ooh, so damn close. You want to just, um, or maybe not. Est, what about you? 23. I could live with that. Beautiful. take you out as well. Um, yeah, I need to have hammering ready. Sooner rather than later. Should have healed her more, but she didn't. And now you pay the consequence, computer. Always take care of your healers, and they'll take care of you. Looks like no one really needs healing. Closest is Wolf, but he doesn't really need it. Guess it could anyways, though. I have so many uses after all. This is the last chapter. Good level. Alright, Katria. It's everything? Yes. Get your ass kicked, Mage Dragon. One more. You thought you could hurt Tiki. That was a foolish thought. I mean, okay, technically you could hurt Tiki. You thought you could do lasting harm to Tiki, I should say. All right, hmm. It's getting late. Um, oh, that's fine with me. We'll go for a rest. I'm no longer picky about who gets the kill. It's just who can get the kill. In fact, I almost don't want to let the level up anymore just because I want to keep it at the nice even 10. But um, that would be silly. I mean, there are exceptions to that. Like, I do want Tiki to get as high as possible. Oh, 
through murdering waves and waves of enemy troops. This false dragon disciple Medius trying to usurp your rightful place on the dragon throne. Hmm. I should focus on just healing Tiki instead of trying to block him. Speaking of which... Mend. Okay, you too. Dragon Pike, no good. Um... You could butcher him. However, I'd rather let you do that to uh, the Draconite. So... Waste flame. Killer bow. And finally, finish him off. Actually, before you finish him off, swarm. That way I don't use waste that way I do not waste two uses of the Leviathan. Game's almost over, but that doesn't mean I should use up my most powerful weapons immediately or anything like that. Make them last the whole chapter. Because who knows what else is in store for us. Like what surprise reinforcements we'll get. Or they'll get, rather. That's almost not even fair. But I don't care. They deserve it. Oh, what a beautiful final level. And I just realized that not even once did he ever get a resistance. Or maybe he did get one. But I don't think he started at zero, so... He must have like a 1% resistance growth, though, if that. Shoot. I would like someone to block that, but it looks like I have no one available. Okay. At least... You want to do a... Uh... She does anyone even need healing? doesn't look like it. I think we'll call that good for this turn. I'll move you a little closer. At least we're not getting more ballistae reinforcements. That's the big thing. To know that even though um, the Divine Stone doesn't raise her resistance that much, it still protects Tiki from the uh, Mage Dragons. It's nice. There you go, West. You are amazing. Only oh, she maxed out strength. Did that just happen, or has it been like that? Once again, let's hit him with the ranged first. Followed by the Leviathan. Really, it's unfortunate Wolf will, Wolf will never get another attack. I mean, experience point. And with that, I could finish him off right now with him. Or... Or maybe not. That would work. Would you 
go. There you go. Uh, no, not Lind. Could have sworn. There's Elise. And Lena. Ooh. One second. I. Oof, that times four is making me really rethink this for a second. Um. That's better. Shit, she's still in range of this guy, though. Though I think she can survive him. 45. 40. Oof. Fuck me. Okay, what I'll need to do is move Lena here. Trade for the warp. And then use it to warp Ogma right here, who is more capable of surviving that attack. From the dragon, the man to keep. That should hopefully hold him. Oh man, I shouldn't play this so late. Oh man, um... No one in range. Oh, one person. Let's see, is it Brave Axe? Tiki's not even in range. Yeah, Maria, get out of there. Actually, I should have healed Tiki first. I can still do that, though. Side benefit of healing uh, Wolf as well. Good to know you can survive. Ever. I'd rather have him attack uh, Tiki than either of you two. Let's see who do I want to attack? Actually, let's get rid of the other um, the other healer. That's a good goal. Or that's a good goal. That I plan on letting anything live for more than a turn if I can hap if I can help it. As soon as I finish here, I should press onward. With at least one group to start clearing out the final room. Then I can figure out Medius. Now we are getting into the rhythm of this. Barring any surprise ballistae, we should be doing fine. Let's go, Lind. You know, let this dragon stand against you. Goto's your father, right? Where is he? I wonder if he can talk to you. I want to find out. Beautiful. Not 
needed, but beautiful. Nonetheless. Shit. I really need to intercept here. Um... Silver Lance, that's fine. Alright, Goto. You're Lin's father, right? I know her father was famous. Maybe it wasn't him, though. I could have sworn it was. No, maybe not. Um. Well, on the other hand, I mean, they mentioned it once many a chapter ago. But. Finish him. But I can't quite remember. I think it was Goto. It's too bad she doesn't get a conversation with him. Assuming that what I'm saying is true. Let's get track of you guys, since you can shoot past the walls. Yeah, just like this. Wait, is that a... Huh. Oh, it's because I have him. Yeah. for healing. Fantastic, at least. Okay. Goto, hit someone with the swarm. Someone you can actually hurt. Please. Screw it. Get the, um, the archer. After all, archers, um, and responsible for a number of my deaths in the past. So, screw them. And Lena. You need to use hammer and on. Say the pachyderm for now. And probably either Leviathan or Mercurius as well. choice. If anyone can survive an onslaught, it is definitely Drog. As long as it's not a magic onslaught. In which case, it's certainly not Drog. Rather, Maria or someone. So if I can kill both of you, I don't have to worry about anyone else. Um... Tiki's not an option for the Maniki. She is an option for him, though. Twenty-four. Okay, Tiki. Finish him. Dragon Pike 30. I do like 30 more. More than the 12. Oh, right. I have coffee now, and that will hopefully prevent me from making stupid mistakes from tiredness. Excellent. Um. Okay. Javelin. I see some of this my brain wasn't even processing. Um. I could tell I was slowing down. Let's go ahead and take out this asshole with the uh, hand axe. Great. 
even a level. Fantastic. Um, Drog. 29, that's not enough. What about with the uh, Aerospate? I have two, right? Yeah, I have plenty. Or, yeah, I have plenty. Good shot. And then the killer bow would finish him off. Fantastic. It'd be fun to uh, listen back to this, see if I was speaking gibberish or not, because that's how I felt. Um for the past a uh, little bit. Twenty-one... Forty... Uh, Thirty-nine. Um... Hmm... That's right, I need to deal with you. If I can. Let's see, Katria... No. Yes, Goto. Hold on, Katria. Dragon Pike. Go for it. I'm gonna use the fortifies. Two of them. Twenty-six. Not Riders Bane, damn it. Dragon Pike. Thirty-one. Fantastic. Beautiful. It's been a while since I mentioned it, but she really does remind me of Marcia. Both in how amazing she is and in her design. I imagine Marcia was probably inspired by her, at least design wise. Um, let's see, as for you. Obviously, Wolf, before I do that. Let's go ahead and fortify. Mm, level 20. That did the job. Though we could use another one once again. Um, so, Maria, you as well. Excellent. Okay. Now, as for this guy, let's hit him with the uh, Parthia. Crit would have really been nice there, but oh well. Can't win them all. What was that thing? I could have had. Wait, no. She doesn't have a fortify on her. No, she does. I gave it to her. Yeah, um... Unfortunately, none of you can actually attack. Which means I need to... Move one of you guys... In. Preferably someone who won't die. I don't know, Lind. Can he hurt you that much? 14, you can survive. Okay, fine. I'll use you to block. Actually, speaking of which, Lena, what about you? 10 damage. Yeah, I'm not even gonna risk having a uh, wolf get critted, since I can't check. Um... It was perfect. or very little damage to Tiki. Yep. Too much dragon for you to handle. Um, 
and you two can go ahead and die now. At least one of you. I don't think I could take out both of you. Not in one turn, at least. With who I have here. Not enough. But the love I thin. Now I can do it. Let's do the Dragon Pike, though. Beautiful. Um, the wolf still needs someone to help take him out. Since those two can't damage him. go. Just to make sure, 45. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't even hope to, uh... Actually, if you got two attacks. Let's just consider it as a possibility. Um... That would be, what, 90? Minus 46? So we're looking at 50... 44. Okay, I do need to heal again. This is why I checked. Now he's fine. Because I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly how much the Firestone increases it by, but I think he might be able to two-shot Drog. Yes, Katria, you are the only one who can uh, attack him be perfectly safe doing so. And I should have attacked before using the fortifies, damn it. And a curiosity. Yikes. Not so yikes. And second thought, Est, you can finish him off. Wait, what if another one shows up? Fuck, I didn't even consider that. Well, if it does, then I'm screwed. Or S is screwed at the very least. That is a horrible attack, sending a swarm of whatever's mosquitoes blood sucking somethings um at your enemies okay it's everybody actually it looks like there might not really be any more reinforcements coming hopefully i didn't speak too soon though sometimes i do that Somehow. Oh, he critted. That was that sound. Oh, Drog. Take care, sire. Ultia needs you. Oh, man. This one's actually kind of sad. He's been with me this whole time. I have really come to rely on you, Drog. You are a fantastic general. And knight. But now you must rest. Don't worry, we will carry on. Oh, Drog. Alright. 
This is Firestone. Lynn, can you, um... Shit, I can't even see. Um... What about the Pachyderm? Nine damage, let's go. Fuck. Uh, Wolf. Worm Slayer, 25. 2% crit. I don't want to. I don't want to use. I do. I do not want to lose you too. All right, you're gonna go. And okay, heal Lena for me. I mean, Lind. Lena, heal Lind. Ogma. Curious, finish him off. Good. And Lind. Thirty-two. Thirty-seven. Actually, let's go for the um. Well, what am I saying? None of you can actually. Neither of you can get the. Experience. I suppose you could do that, but um, that'd be dangerous. Yeah, revenge. That's what we're going for. Deuce to ashes. From whence you came. Good riddance. save. Okay, Katria. Let's ignore him for a second. He's not going to move. He will. Okay. With that in mind... How much damage? 23... Fourteen. Twenty-three plus fourteen. So we're getting, uh... Thirty-three... Thirty-seven. Okay, you'll be fine as long as I heal you. Fully. Obviously, I can't, um... I gotta be careful here. With Est. There we go. And no, take no chances. Fortify. Yep. And, uh, Maria. Fortify. Basically using them like physics at this point. Just universal physics, I suppose. That's basically what they are anyways. Alright, Wolf, come on, uh, come on up. And I should really check what's in this, uh, in this uh, shop here. I am kind of curious. Maybe I'll, uh, wait, no. I was going to say maybe I'll warp someone, but I think I used it up already. Maybe I'll send, uh, I'll send some over eventually. Tiki. Oh, that could be bad. Hopefully that wasn't another, um, Archer, I saw. Because I only calculated for these two. Okay, good. Oof. What did I say? I always say, oh yeah, I guess there's no more reinforcements, but every time, 
every time. But, um, Lin, to get back, I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not gonna let you die. Let's focus on you, the dragon, because they have that crit. Ooh, very nice. How does it feel to be critted? Not very nice, is it? Um. Alright, Wolf, get up here. Fourteen damage, mine as well. Tiki. Oh, beautiful. Simply beautiful. Sixty three damage, hundred percent, thirteen percent crit. She is invaluable to this final map. She's been so, but especially right now. All right, I've got to be extra careful not to um, put anyone at risk. Too bad I don't have any physics. This is, feels like a waste of fortifies. Because it is a waste of fortifies. We'll hold our stand against these others in the uh, hallway. Unsurprising. Going after Tiki. I'll give a choice in the matter. I'd feel worse for you if it wasn't for the fact that you just killed Drog recently. Which is unforgivable. Oh, hey, defense. Only 18 instead of uh, 20. Because of that extra defense. I'm regretting uh, pulling you guys back. Good shot. No good. Or no use. Yeah, Mercurius. I don't suppose. I'm curious. Take him out. And he could not take you out, actually. Good to know. Neither could he, though. Extra good to know. However, both of them together could. Your defense is high enough where I'm not too worried. Though, on the other hand, do 20 and 16 for a total of 36. Nope, no good. No good at all. Looks like Beck's about to die. It doesn't look like I could do much about him unless I was willing to sacrifice Lind, which sorry, Beck, but Lind takes some takes precedence. No offense. Oh, right. Tiki, you want to take him out as well? I don't know where he uses that. Ten? Okay. So I can do damage. 
but he will butcher us in return. Yeah. He would really butcher us. With the falchion. How the fuck am I gonna take him out? I'll have to sacrifice someone, it looks like. Unless Tiki can help. I mean, she definitely has some of the highest defense. With the Divine Stone, at least. go. Someone fast enough. Even with a 2% crit. Okay. And of course this one won't hurt him at all. Um. However. Could you reach someone else now? Sorry, Beck. It was nice knowing you. I'm not gonna cry as much over you as I would over Drog, but, um... You sacrifice help Lind. Helps I was mentally prepared for him when I wasn't expecting Drog at all. Take him out right now, if we want. Hmm. I don't suppose, uh, Goto, you can help out here. Thirteen. And go for it. start. Um, now. No, not quite enough. Um, you know, you can't quite reach. Beck's already dead. Go ahead and kill this guy. Good. Hmm. I could check with Leviathan first. That way. I don't have to take the attacks. Let's see, that would be, um, 38. 0% uh, crit. I like that. And he'd basically die in the next turn. Oh shit, fantastic! Now I also don't have to worry about wasting fortifies for Lind. Actually, it looks like I still need a fortify though. Tiki. Hmm. Okay, he'll do uh, 40, 54. Tiki cannot survive. Damn, this guy is troublesome. But that'd be a great finishing move. Holy shit. In fact, I can do that right now. Alright. Wolf. It's your turn. Foolish humans. You dare disturb me while I slumber. Ah, that's hard on my throat. Oh, how you will regret it as you 
die slowly, painfully, writhing in the fires of the inferno. I did not awake you from your slumber. That was, um, Garneth. But I'm gonna put you back to sleep. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting that. Who would I rather give the kill to? Well, that's way too risky. The much less risky. Besides what she has to assert her dominance as the Supreme Dragon. Good riddance, Medius. Ugh. Defeated again. By humans. Actually, no. You're defeated by a dragon. A dragon princess. Putting you in your place. Know this, Altian prince. That light which surrounds you is only a temporary respite. So long as the darkness in your hearts continues to sustain me, I cannot be destroyed. Hmm... You're one of those. Yeah. I wonder if you'll make an appearance again in the next game. Well. I'm not sure who to use. Garnif is dead, so I'm not sure who would summon you. Or is he? I could see him pulling a Black Knight. <laughs> Goodbye, Medius. Goodbye, Garnif. <laughs> 28. Wow, that was her worst level ever. After Medius's demise, Dolor would relax its shadowy grip on the land and fade into obscurity. The Empire was finished. That's too bad for them. Who led it before uh, Medius, I wonder? They might have mentioned it earlier, but I've completely forgotten. The fires of war that had raged across Arcania would die, and light would come to take darkness's place, at least until the next game. But before any of that came to pass, there were a few final moments of Marth's tale that need telling Like Sita and Marth? Marth! You did it! It's finally over. I've waited a long time for this day. And now I'm not entirely certain what to do with it. Well. You should find yourself a nice princess to settle down with. One with blue hair, perhaps. Who you grew up friends with. Name starts with a C or an S, depending on your translation. Marth, um, we haven't talked much since leaving Talus, but I thought, do you know where you will be going? To Altia, of course. War has left my kingdom in shambles. I cannot waste another day. I must return to help rebuild. Of course. So, I suppose that means you have to bid Talus farewell for good. Oh, Sita. Don't be silly, Sita. I need a, I need to at least go thank your father and tell him the fighting is done. And? My father? Marth, I'm not asking about my... <laughs> He's being a bit thick here. Never mind. Please excuse me. Damn it, Marth. I'm sure he'll get... I'm sure he'll get it in the end. Marth, did something happen? I just passed Sita, and she looked heartbroken. Oh. No? Well, we were just talking, and she asked me. I'm sure Nina can set you in your place. <laughs> oh, Marth. How can a man who faced the Shadow Dragon be so desperate to avoid facing his own feelings? I mean, to be fair, what is he, 16, 17, 18 at most? 
I might... What? I don't know what you're talking about. He's oblivious. Perhaps as oblivious as Ike? No. Ike is the most oblivious protagonist I've ever played. You wish to send Sita home to Talus, then, and return to Altea alone? That is what you want? Well, that's where we both belong. I don't see why what my wants have to do with anything. Marth, you're a prince, and she's a princess. When a prince and a princess love each other very much, one of them moves into the other's castle. Clearly not. Marth, if you have anything to say to Sita, say it now. Love cannot always make the leap from heart to heart it by itself. Sometimes you must speak it aloud and give it wings. Surely a great leader like you must, uh, can muster the courage for that. <laughs> Run after her, Marth. Before it's too late. Sita, might I have a moment? Hmm? I did not mean to speak my heart before. When I said I would go to Altia, I desired you to come with live together with me forever. Well, I had meant I had hoped you would be at my side. Well, he's lying. I don't believe for a second he actually considered it. But it's good that he's changed his mind. <gasps> As you said, we have not spoken much since Talus. With you, I felt I never had to say a word. If the battle started to take its toll, you're always there, close by your wing spare with Iglos, ready to just put cavalry and armored characters into the dust. You saved my troops many a time. I would see you there so beautiful, so brave. Well, I mean, she's both. And I would, um, drive. <laughs> Pull that word out of your ass. Yes, derive great strength. Derive. Uh, why is this so difficult? Sita, I'm just trying to tell you I. Marth, shh. Me too. Me too. Thank you, Sita, for stopping that. Because that was <laughs> getting out of hand. So concludes the tale of Falchion. Blade of Light, Marth, its wielder his battle with the Shadow Dragon. Here in its events have been chronicled that none may ever forget. Campaign Summary Alright. Oh, and now we get to see some of my absolutely ridiculous turn counts. 80 turns, wow. That is fantastically awful. Man, this was fun, though. Definitely the, um, out of all the games I've played so far, I would certainly rank it the least um, of them. But it was still fun in its own right. The, um, I can see what people meant by the story being a little bit more generic. Though at the same time, it feels like the um, other stories took at least a little bit of inspiration from it, like uh, Blazing Blade and uh, everything. Clearly, um, I'm forgetting his name, but the uh, uh, head of the... Um... Shit, I'm forgetting their name too. The, the, the Merc... The Dark Mercenator group. Well, finally 18 turns, and it was the final chapter. Still a difficult chapter, though. But yeah, that guy, though, summoning a powerful dragon. <laughs> it's actually a very similar story. They've done a little bit better, I think, in that one. A little more interesting. Marth returned to war-torn Altia and devoted all his energy to restoring the kingdom's former glory. He was later crowned king. 
Did you give me their measurements, or is that battles and wins? Sita visited her father in Talus before returning to Altia with Marth. Whispers of love warmed the castle halls. Bones of iron. After the war, Jagan laid down his lance and became one of Prince Marth's closest advisors. Unfortunately, I missed the first two titles. The king's voice came. Oh, chapter 9. Rest in peace, Cain and Abel. Chapter 10. <laughs> the gentle giant Drog fell in battle during the end game. The ungaged Gordon, or the unengaged, ha! Gordon squared himself to an Arcanian knight, mas mastered the bow, something, something. Altian healer Reese. Reese built a monastery and spent his remaining years caring for children who had left the lost their parents in the war. The loyal Blade Ogma. A fantastic Blade Ogma. Ogma returned to Talos to serve its people. Perhaps love was not his strong suit. He contains no record of him marrying. Poor Ogma. The hatchet burst. He would have been a truly powerful character in the endgame, I think. The Lopper Board. Board returned to his peaceful life as a woodcutter. In time, he became renowned for his craftsmanship. The Chopper Cord. Another woodcutter. Became renowned for his speedy work. Cutting Corners Cord. Loving Son Caster. He returned home to his aging mother, medicine in hand. Oh, right. Did I know about that? I completely forgot about that. It was long back to the sea for Daros. By all accounts, carefree, he departed Arcania's shores for the last time. Honest thief, that's a oxymoron. Julian gave up thievery for good and found an honest job in Macedon. That's good. Angel to all, Lena. Lena cared for orphans at a, at a convent in Macedon and doled out love and equal shares to all she met. The Silent Sword Navar. Navar vanished. Vanished after the great struggle. For years, impostors appeared, hoping to profit from his reputation. The mirthful mage Merrick. Yeah. Wait, he fell from... I forgot he died. That's right. I thought I stopped using him as all dashing noble Mathis. I left his... Well, lived a normal life. Coyote Harden. Nina offered Hardin her hand in marriage. Aw. So he was crowned the 24th king of House Arcania. Oh, no wonder he's important in the next game. Aurelian hero Wolf. Wolf remained a knight of Aurelis. He helped rebuild and later kept an elite guard. Something, something. Aurelian star Sidgar. He remained a knight of Aurelis. Helped rebuild. Later became vice captain and pillar of the Wolf Guard. Okay. Russia. Aurelian hope. Oh, poor guy. Man, I lost a number of characters in this one. Aurelian Son of Island. I made a knight, helped rebuild. Wise teacher Wendell became a senior mage in Kidding Kadeen and embarked on a journey that took him from land to land in pursuit of the truth. Big time thief Rickard. Oh, yeah. Ricard returned home to live in peace. Or so he claimed. Even as he... <laughs> he kept thieving. The fire dragon Bantu. Bantu sealed the dragon stone's power and disappeared. But his wish was to live out his years in the Dolorean... He did... He left Tiki? Bastard! He promised he wouldn't leave her alone! Hired sword Caesar. That almost makes... That makes me, uh... Tear up a little bit. Keep him focus, Lady Killer Rat. Well, he definitely was a handsome guy. I'll give him that. The scraggly hair and all that. Perfect shot, George. Worked diligently to rebuild Arcania. Palace Knight Captain Ar uh, Ar an Archer Captain. The Petite Princess Maria. Uh, after studying Kadeen for a spell, Princess Maria returned to mess up with service. She's first in line for the throne. Vanished from the pages of history, a true leader indeed. 
Maloa's child, Lind. Okay, so it was Maloa. Anna's love, Jake. He and his lover, Anna, always dreamed of traveling to far off continents. His anchor, Midia. Midia honored her princess's request to return, remain the Arcanian Knights and later became their captain. A lot of captains. Spitting image Dolph. <laughs> That's right. I think I killed him. Dead Ringer Massillon. Midia, if only you were a little stronger. I could have used you to fill my dwindling cavalier ranks. We made it through. A cavalier survived. Two survived. That's a first. Royal Bishop Boa. <laughs> Born Shooter Beck. Does this mean the Catholic curses have been overcome? Fat chance of that. Just wait. It'll strike with a vengeance in the next game. We'll make sure none survive. Astro was made Captain of Arcania's free company. Hmm. The Elder Sister Paula. Elder Sister, perhaps, but the weakest of the three. The Royal left this one self assured knight's heart in knots. Aw, poor Paula. The middle sister, Katria. Interesting that the youngest still is the strongest. She returned to Macedon to rebuild. Love for a certain man flared in her. Who is the lucky man, Katria? Hey, wouldn't why not est? Roaming hero, Samson. Continued to ply at mercenary work. <laughs> the shapeshifter, Zane. After the war, Zane left without a word. It was not until later that Marth learned his true identity. There she is, the little sister Est. Est fell in love with an Ultian knight and found more happiness in a woman's life than a warrior's. Well, as long as she's happy, I'm happy. A dragon scion Tiki. She lived a peaceful life with Bond. Oh, yes! She spoke folly. <laughs> that, that's all I needed. A life giver release. At least returned to Altia with Marth. Ever serene, she stood by her brother. I'm so happy she survived. I was so worried in the beginning of the game. At Nina's request, Goto became Archmage Arcania. Oh, the end. This was fun. I'm super excited for the next game. Once again, let me know if you think I should break up the parts or not. If it would make it easier for you guys. And if so, remember to tell me. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I should release them all at the same exact time. Since, you know, I always do these chapters in one go. Or if uh, I should release them throughout the week, I guess. Yeah, questions for later. Oh, I'm also considering playing... Three houses when it comes out. In alongside Fire Emblem 12. If I do, it might be on a slower schedule though. I don't think I could uh, find the time to play a chapter of that and a chapter of another one in the week. But we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching and have fun. I'll see you in the next one.